Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I want to take you on a tour through my live stream setup and my photo editing workspace. Let's get to it. All right, so I'm sitting now in my chair recording with the DJI Osmo 5, the pocket. And um, I just want to take you on a quick tour, uh, explain to you what gear I use, as well as uh, the lighting and etc. for my live stream setup. I hope this is going to help some of you out there thinking of putting together a setup for yourself to live stream or just to record video content from your desk. The space is also what I use for my photo editing workshop. So we'll go through a little bit of that as well. All right, let's get to it. Okay, so generally you can see my space in my humble abode, which has a lot of lights, microphones, etc., etc., etc. Okay, here's my infamous bookshelf that I'm sure a lot of you notice in the videos, whether it be live streams or my talking head videos. Um, and then here is the general workspace here. Okay, so you can see it right there. And then um, I always have accent lighting, which is very important to add depth and drama to my lighting. Okay, so we're going to go over all this. All right, so first things first, let's start with the camera and what I have right here is the infamous. And what I mean by infamous is because you all, especially who uh, check out my live streams, know I use the Lumix S5 Mark II for my uh, camera for live streaming and all my talking head videos that are done from this desk. So I have the Lumix X5 Mark II and then I have the Sigma 35 millimeter F 1.4 DGDN art lens. So that lens is available in Sony E mount and Leica L mount as well. And probably more by now, maybe the Fuji, but you got to double check their uh, website. Then I have a field world, an Andy Cine, excuse me, not field world, uh, Andy Cine monitor up here to make sure I'm always good to go in terms of my framing and looking for what's in my frame, not just framing myself, but checking out what's in the frame that might be a distraction and a background, etc. Okay. So we have that. And then it also lets me know if, if my shot is leveled and, and good to go. Then I have. This little box right here is for my teleprompter. When I do some talking heads, I tend to use a teleprompter. I'm not very good at memorizing everything and I don't want to spend all day correcting myself. So I have this little teleprompter that's only like $59, $69. I'll leave a link down in the description. I just got this about a week and a half ago. Saves me so much recording time, especially when I'm doing my uh, last week in photography videos. I write the script and then I'm good to go and I'm not spending all day recording because it's about getting you guys the content. And then I have, uh, you see it has two cold shoe mounts, not hot shoe, cold shoe mounts on top and it's plastic. Um, and then I have a little five inch um, little light here, light panel from ProMaster. Okay. Now I generally keep it attached to this ProMaster uh a little little uh, stand here which clips on to my table let's see if you can see it yep clips onto the table right there it's a little clamp you see the clamp there and then i i have that and then um but when i attach the monitor here if i'm using this iphone uh holder and i'm creating shorts or if i'm creating vertical video content i have the light attached up top but if I have it attached up top and I'm trying to do my talking head video for YouTube and then I have my microphone, it will cast a shadow on my forehead. So once I bring the light closer, then I use it there. So I have two positions to make a long story short. OK, so let me just show you that it, this little space here. So when I'm sitting in my chair right here, I have the light, my monitor. I have this always ready to go for my vertical content for my uh, iPhone right there. This is by Joby 
And this thing is only $9.99. It's only $9.99. It has a quarter inch screw on the bottom. And uh, it's my go-to. It's my go-to. 99 bucks. You can go horizontal or vertical. Love it. So I have that for my uh, phone content. And then immediately I just keep this on a desk right here, which is the uh, S5 with the teleprompter, always ready to go. What I've realized is if I don't have my setup ready to just go, turn on the lights and go, I will create a lot less content. So I try to reduce the amount of uh, of speed bumps and hurdles for me to fire up my system and begin to make content. With that said, I always keep this set up. I might turn off everything, but everything stays where it's at. I'm using a gorilla pod right here. I forgot which kilogram size it is, but I'm using one of the heavier ones right there and then a simple ball head and then everything else is attached. Let me get on over here. Everything's attached. See, it, uh, the teleprompter came with this cool bracket right there. And then that's where I put my uh, camera. And then obviously the front part of the uh, teleprompter is right here. So it came with all that for $69. Okay, it was very good deal. Very good deal. Now, here's my 27-inch uh, Mac, my iMac right there. And then, of course, as some of you may know, I use the Rode, uh, Rodecaster 2 for my podcasts and live streams. All right here, sound effects. There we go. Got my uh, headphones connected right there. Then <clears throat> I have the, uh, what is it called? The Rode Pod Mic. I believe that's what it's called. Rode Pod Mic. $99, the best mic for that price. Bar none, hands down, can't be beat. Okay. And then I have the, uh, what is this? The PSA Plus, PSA 1 Plus or something like that. That's the boom uh, mic. Uh, what is it? The mic boom arm right there. I love it. It holds this, this mic is all metal, very well built, but it's heavy. So when I extend it out to talk, it, uh, it, it stays right where I need it to be. It doesn't slouch, it doesn't slack. So when I'm doing my stream over here, it's looking pretty, it's looking pretty awesome. Okay, so that's all I like. And then when I'm not streaming, I just tuck it away, I fold it up, turn it, and boom. Looks like a champ, nice and tucked in the uh the side there of the of the uh computer okay again we have everything here i just bought this new desk th uh three weeks ago and it's 47 inches 48 inches which gives me plenty of space my last desk was 41 inches and it was very cramped with the monitor the keyboard and everything else especially if i wanted to keep i couldn't keep that i couldn't keep the um camera there full time. So when I got this larger desk space, it was a win and it didn't come out further. It allowed me to keep all this here full time, everything here full time and then over here full time, which was a super awesome win. Yes, I loved it. In the back are my two uh, hard drives. I think I have a 12 terabyte and an eight terabyte back there. Okay, you can see the bottoms of it. And then uh, I have a lamp here if I wanted to make it look a little, a little awesome. I do have a lamp in the back. Okay, as you can see right there. And then um, I have lights right up here too, just to accent these awesome lenses right here. And then I have these little strips right here that go across this entire bookshelf. And these little strips are only $15. Get it off of Amazon, only $15. And it's little LEDs, doesn't emit any heat and barely draws any real energy because it's LED. Okay, so I have those there. Here's the remote to it. So I could change the color up where I, wherever I feel like going at that moment. Let me see. Here we go. There we go. You know, depending on what I want to do. 
If you're using these so you don't get flicker, turn the power up all the way. I've learned that because of mistakes I've made. Okay. Now for my overhead mic, when I'm doing talking head with the video, when I have everything set up, I'm going to be using this uh, Rode Mic Pro Plus. Awesome mic. If you can't, uh, there you can have your settings here and it's powered through the camera right there if you can see it. Okay. So as long as you have it connected to the camera, it is powered. And as soon as you turn off the camera, it is off. So it's pretty awesome that it works that way. And then from there, I have this cheap little boom arm, uh, microphone boom arm, which I got from Amazon for 15 bucks or $20, something like that. Very good price. You simply can't beat it. Cannot beat it. Okay. Then let's go on over here. I have my accent lighting. I have a couple of accent lights. Uh, let's get to the small ones. Small one is right here. This is a uh, Yulanzi. Let's see that Yulanzi. This is only like 30 bucks for this one. It's magnetic here. It's magnetic right there and it's magnetic right there and magnets on the back side as well. And this battery lasts a very long time because you don't need a whole lot of power for it to make it look awesome. It's accent lighting. So I use anywhere between 10 and 20% brightness and I just tuck it there. And it's just really to help accent these strip lights. That's what that's for. Okay. Now I have another one up. That's the, uh, this is the other one I have up top right there. I'm sure you remember that one. Then for the most important key, uh, accent lighting. Oh, besides this LED here, which is from uh, Ikea, this little strip here, that was very cheap. I can't remember the price was very cheap. And I just put it right there just to light up this little bookshelf area, which a lot of you may know or have seen in the back. I just have a, I just have a light that I have a lamp from Ikea just pointing in the corner to add depth. So when you guys see me uh, in the background, it's normally blurry and, uh, but I just have that light on. So it doesn't look like a cave back there. Now here are the two most, uh, most important accent lightings I use this, this one right here. Okay, these four inch tubes right there and then this one right here to my camera right when I'm streaming are four foot RGB uh, uh, XLs, what they're called, RGB XL tube lights from Loom Cube. These are really, really awesome. Um, here, here's the company right there. If you folks aren't familiar with them, I'll leave a link to the in the description section. Now, what's really great about these, they're built really well. Okay. There's the settings you can see right there. Uh, they all have quarter inch screws. It has quarter inch screws up top. It has them in the middle quarter inch screws, depending on how you want to mount this and use it. And then another set of quarter inch screws right there. Then you have another quarter inch screw right there. See that right there. So that's really cool. And then um, you have larger screws right here. See this larger one right there? I think that's a, a quarter inch and this might be a, a three eighths or so. I'll, 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 I'll post it down below in the video. Okay. Then these have multiple lighting modes, multiple lighting modes. And what I like the most is using it with their app. So you have the Loom control app right there open it up and now you could power these these uh, strobes using this using your app which I really like because I could dial in and I'm way more accurate when I use their use their app and then also <clears throat> once you've paired your devices to the app you can you you could group them if you would like if you have more than two you make three or four or five or whatever you could group them you can do all sorts of stuff so I love this, these lights because not only for my YouTube, it gives me great, um, 
uh, higher quality lighting results, but also for when I'm filmmaking, these are great. So you can see the batteries are fantastic. It's built in easily, easy to charge. They come with a charger, everything. And, um, so you can go to these and then just begin playing with the brightness. It has all these funky strobe. You see that you got the strobe action, got lightning, right? You got this fire thing going on here. If you want fire, you got a siren up in, yeah, it's, it's crazy. And then TV, like the poltergeist, you could, you can get some of that action if you, if you want. Let me see. There you go. It's pulsing. There we go. Okay. So, but we're going to turn that off and go back to, uh, the basics here. Okay. Cool. All right. So there we go. The loom, it, it's really responsive. It takes literally one click to pair. When you go to pair, it'll show up right here as available device. You click it once, it pairs immediately and you could turn these off. What I like about it is you could also put, they're not off, but they're on standby. You can see that how much battery time you have left. And then when you press, press it off, you, it, it'll immediately turn off, but you could just turn them right back on through via the app and they just keep them on standby. So that's really, really, really cool. All right. So with that said, now let's take a look at the setup through the lens of my camera on my desk. Let's get to it. All right, so here is the perspective from my camera. That's right, the Lumix S5 Mark II on my desk. So this is a setup that I have ready to go. As I said, the easier it is, the more likely I'm gonna create content. And I recommend that for you, especially if you're a procrastinator or you have issues with being consistent. This is a great way to overcome those obstacles because guess what? I have a uh, unfortunate struggle with both of those. So I knew that if I invested on the right setup, the more likely I'm gonna create content for all of you out there and bring you more juicy stuff. So, um, as you can see, I have the accent lightings right here, right? You can see that coming in, giving me some, now I made this because of the time of day, more of a daylight because it's a uh, afternoon and I want to be able to highlight more of the light coming in, edging me on camera, uh, left. And then on camera, right, I decided to go with more of a tungsten light in order to help accentuate the lighting, matching the lighting coming from the bookshelf. And then, so that's what I have over here. And I have those dialed down pretty low. Um, right now, I have this one on 10. And then I have the other one. Let's see, what do I have it on? On 10 as well. Okay, so they're both only like 10%. They will last all day at 10%. Those loom cubes, um, Tube lights are ridiculous when it comes to energy efficiency. There's no sound being emitted from it, no heat being emitted from them, and they're very uh, well built, like really well built, and um, they're portable. So with that said, I just set them there. They came with their own little stands, and they're great to position, and obviously they're easy to move around to get the right kind of accent or edge lighting that you want. Now this. You could also put these at the bottom in the bookshelf, bottom bookshelf. You can do all sorts of things with these tube lights. I recommend, you know, I have the three inch tube lights you saw earlier from uh, Ulanzi. And then I have these four foot ones. So you could do all sorts of stuff with tube lights. I recommend them for you. Okay, so that's just the behind the scenes look of my live stream setup, as well as my talking head video production setup. Now this is the same space that I do all my photo editing and video editing too, as well. So so that's why I needed a larger space. I recommend if you're going to be putting together a workstation of some sort, at least 47 inches, 48 inches, because your setup's going to grow. And I'd rather have more space. When I had less space, I felt very cluttered and it wasn't really welcoming and relaxing. And I need that if I'm going to be sitting in this chair for a couple hours a day, which I do. I sit in this chair more than a couple hours. And so I need my space to be very feng shui. Way. So with that said, if you have any questions about putting together a setup or any of the gear that I mentioned, please 
post your comments down below. I will be leaving links to all the products that I mentioned throughout this video in the description section down below for you to check out for yourself. If you enjoyed this video and you would like to see more, don't forget to press that like, that share, that subscribe, and yes, smash that bell icon to get notifications for my upcoming content. I'm Robert Silver, and until next time, keep shooting and stay creative.